I, I grew up very frustrated and very insecure about my body because I was the skinniest kid and the, the weakest kid at school. And, and I got a lot of bullying because of that. And it was, this body was something that I never chose. So to me, it was an unfair situation. I wanted to be a strong man. And this play for men and women in different forms. For men, they want to be strong. For, for women, they want to have the, the, their, their, their beauty. And they look at their bodies. So sometimes they don't understand why they are in their bodies. I decided I wanted to change. And when I was 18 years old, I, I had this vision of becoming Conan the Barbarian, right? He's Conan, I'm Ronan, it's like I was halfway. <laughs> and I joined the gym and I went to all the strong guys in the gym and I asked them, what do you eat and how do you exercise? And I did exactly the same thing that they were doing. It worked for all the friends that joined with me, except for myself. And I started realizing my body had more challenges. First, I had a chronic constipation and I couldn't eat the, the, all the amount of, of chicken and sweet potato that they had because my body couldn't digest it. I had bronchitis since I was a little kid, so I couldn't have the same intensity of training because my lungs couldn't take it. I had insufficiency in my heart function, so I couldn't train as much as they did because my heart was weak and also my immune system would break down after two weeks of training nonstop, so I couldn't take the same intensity as they did. And again, I felt frustrated but i realized that i was a really good student my body was not my my forte but my mind was i, I became an engineer later and so i used the engineer mind to go for scientific studies and see what around the world scientists are doing to improve at least athletes in their athletic performance and i replicated those studies and then my body started changing as I found out that it was not a, a issue of my body, it was an issue of the strategies I was using, I said, now you watch me become Conan the Barbarian. I got two and a half years. I was training three times in a day. I was running four times in a week. I was overeating and then over dieting to build the muscle mass and all the, the vascularity in the body. And one day, I got to the closest version I could to Conan the Barbarian. The day that I took a picture, it was beautiful to experience that. But when I looked at all the other areas of my life, all the problems that I had in my life that I thought would be solved once I, once I became what I thought a, a strong man would be like, all those problems remained untouched. If not, life became worse because now my lifestyle was much more restricted. I was still the same insecure boy that has the insecurities about his body, but now with a lot of muscles on top. But the same problems remained. And so I decided that maybe it was not about forcing my body to becoming something it was not. Maybe it was about creating harmony around the body. If, if I could learn how to listen to what my body wanted to become, to what my body needed and provide my body that regardless of my vision was, what would that be like? And this is when I started experiencing transformation in my body. Now my health was vibrant, my mood was high, my, my energy was, it was uh, over, it was uh, breaking the, 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 the limits of what, what I thought possible. I had, my lifestyle was more flexible, I had more connection with friends, people that I loved and people who loved me, my confidence in my body was much stronger, even though those veins and that six pack was not there as it was before, but my body was expressing its full potential. I started learning to my body. I started uh, working with my environment, the people who I hang out with, the physical environment, the home, and the things that I have around me, the sustained connection with nature. And I was working with my sense of self. I was working with my beliefs and identity that manifested a physical body that increased my vitality, my health, and my fitness. And then I realized that it's not about dieting like everybody diets or over or under exercising as everybody else does. This whole fitness and health and fitness game is not even much about nutrition and exercise. It's about a holistic approach to your body. You are a complex 
beautiful human being, force of nature. It's not one single approach, one targeted approach that will transform you as a person in your body as the force of nature that it is. It's the combination, it's the harmony between five pillars that work with your body as a system. Your body, your mind, your beliefs, your environment and your connections. And that's why I created a free masterclass to present you all these five pillars and one technique under each one of them that can start applying them right now, transforming the way that you transform your body, creating harmony, listening to your body so that it can express its full potential and you can really see what it feels like to be at your healthiest, at your fittest, in your peak state as your new normal. Join me in this masterclass. Boo.